Why do we go down on this trip? Well, it all started actually over 12 years ago. What happened 12 years ago triggered our trip. And it happened out of pla outside of a place called Nueva Tacna in Peru. It would have been about 6 o'clock in the morning and there was only a handful of people who were up and starting to move around the village. They do fishing and agriculture there. And they thought an earthquake was taking place. The ground was shaking. Trees were falling over. And what I'm going to tell you now, I know you'll find hard to believe, but when we're finished, hopefully you'll be convinced. A giant snake came out of the <coughs> jungle. A black boa, as they call it in the Amazon. Now, if you see that map there, that map is two meters wide. And that's how wide that snake was. Two meters wide. And 40 meters long, that's 130 feet. Now, are you putting those pictures up? There's the damage that it actually did. Yeah. <coughs> when it, see, it was lying underground for many years, according to the locals now. And when it comes up, you know, you get up in the morning, you, you stretch, right? You get your muscles moving. That's what it was doing there, was stretching its muscles. And literally knocked over all these trees and all over the place. And these aren't small little bushes. These are real thick trees. Knocked them all over. And it headed down the river to go into the river, you see. Now, let me see this here. Now, this is the trail, what these things do. They're so heavy. Look, you see that there? It made a trail down through the, the path. That's, that's actually cut a path through the jungle. It's that heavy. Now, go on to the one on the, uh, at the river, will you? <coughs> it flung trees out into the Amazon. There's the trees that it flung out in the Amazon, shaking around like this, you see? And uh, flung them right out into the, into, into the river. Now, is that the last uh, one of those? No, there's Good. more. Okay, go on, do another one then. Let's see. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, they called in the, the Navy and the Army. Who is that guy, Greg? General Vargas, the general of the Peruvian Armed Forces on the right. You know, they're, they're worried about their people. They don't want to scare people. As a matter of fact, it's a point, you know, I think, <coughs> I honestly feel that the government's played down incidents like this to, because they want tourism you see this would scare people you see but anyway <coughs> they brought these guys in to kill it but by the time they got there this thing was long gone anyway have you got another picture there or what yeah. right now I knew you see a reptile has what's called explosive energy it can really be strong, but only for a short time. Something like a crocodile or a snake can only be strong for a short period of time. And I knew that this creature would go down river because they go with the flow. They don't want to go up river. It's too much work, right? So we were going down the river. But not only that, <coughs> it was going down to a confluence. The Napo and the Amazon confluence. That's where two rivers join together. And the reason they they go there and inhabit those areas is because they get food. If they don't get food from one river, they get it from the other one, see? So that's the whole idea.